Hi there everyone, welcome to my overwatch guide videos today. The hero I'm going to be talking about is Mei. Now Mei is a character that's meant to cause a nuisance to the enemy team. So her main objective really as a character is to freeze people as much as possible and to basically annoy people as much as possible. Now honestly Mei is extremely good but not a lot of people play her and I don't know I guess a lot of people don't like her as much because I don't see a lot of people play her online and whatnot but I don't know the power to freeze people and then the whole team jumps on them and kills them I think is incredible especially kind of her ultimate which I'll talk about quite soon but the fact that she's all ice based I think is so nice to have a hero like that in overwatch especially kind of the whole the whole thing is about ice you know, there's not a character like that in this game. I mean, I know, um, kind of Reinhardt has a fire move and Winston has like an electric weapon, but she's all about ice and freezing, which I think is fantastic. Anyway, the first thing I want to talk about is her actual weapon. Now it's called the Endothermic Blaster. I think I've said that right. Now this is her main weapon she has here. It, um, basically it has a like a little freeze wave thing here which free this is this is what freezes people right so that's that and then she's got the projectile which is the icicle that comes out here now basically um, the actual blaster itself which is the actual beam which is this one this one here I'm using it does 45 damage per second and 2.25 per round and there's 200 ammo for it so you get a lot you can get a lot of value out of this I, no, I just I keep going I'm still not done yet and 20 meters per second is the projectile speed of this maximum range 10 meters which is not great but it's just about enough I think to be honest just about enough to free someone and not get too much damage be put on yourself I mean and yeah ammo 200 basically that is an amazing amount of ammo and 20 rounds per second pretty much you're using for this and the reload time is 1.5 seconds that's average that's not slow or fast or anything, it's about average, about right. And 1.5 seconds of freezing, basically, and of course it can't headshot because it's like a, a beam. So, after 1.5 seconds, the enemy will like gradually start to freeze bit by bit. That's when they start to kind of slow the movement down. So that's basically her, her freezing thing here very very effective I'll show you actually on the bot and it doesn't take long as you can see to freeze them very very quick really so what I'll move on to now is the icicle now this is her other move she has for the weapon this can be very good if you can hit people with it now it does it has fall off um, damage, fall off range, so it does anything from 22 damage to 75 per hit. And yeah, I'm not sure how much damage it does with a headshot, but it does a quite a lot if you can if you can get a headshot in. So because it does it does headshot, of course. So you'll want to be aiming for the head with this, of course, if um, if you can. I know it's difficult, but if you can aim for the head, all the better, the more damage. Fall off range is 26 to 55 meters, so quite a bit. But still, it still does a decent damage, which is good. Projectile speed is 88.88 .88 meters per second. 
the rate of fire is 1.2 shot per second including the charge time I mean of course she's got 200 ammo but it uses 25 per icicle to, to use that and the reload time is just the same it's 1.5 seconds make any difference with that and the casting time is 0 0.4 so uh, just ever so slightly cast time for that and that's basically her icicle so yeah with this with the icicle right of course with the beam you want to like you know make sure you freeze people as much as you can with that but um yeah with the icicle what you want to do is, is you want to get a headshot you want to try and see this is the tactic you want to use for may if you can you want to freeze someone and you'll use the icicle and shoot them in the head that's what most people do when they use her that's a good way of of doing it good way of killing people so yeah that's what you want to be doing if you can with those those moves that she's got now the next one is the cryo freeze now this is a self heal this move she entraps us entraps herself with this kind of big ice block and heals herself so basically and mine's got a little snowman on it because I've got the winter skin it does 37.5 sec point five healing per second so you will get healed 150 health over a full like duration of using um, cryo freeze so 37.5 healing per second and yeah 150 of your health so basically you could be pretty much on half health say around about and you will get healed and it lasts four seconds and the cooldown is 12 seconds so that's that's pretty good really i mean at least may can kind of heal herself look after herself for a bit longer i mean you could there's so much things you could do with may like one example is if you're trying to freeze an enemy but there's other people shooting you you can kind of go into cryo freeze get some health back finish the other person off it's there's quite a lot of ways to do it and you can kind of freeze kind of you know kind of if there's two people close together you can kind of freeze both of them pretty much and it's, she, she's such a useful character but she's just not used enough i don't think i mean if people learn how to play her she'd be she'd be a lot more kind of I don't know a lot of people would get into her more I think just be more used to how she plays and and of how she works and all that you know but anyway that's cryo freeze I do like that snowman though must admit yeah but yeah I'm glad she can actually heal herself now her next one is ice wall now this blocks 500 damage per pillar and there's five pillars for this so there's one two three four five and each one blocks 500 damage basically it has 500 health on each pillar which is not bad really i mean it can it can it really can stop people a lot it's very very reliable to use The maximum range is 35 meters for the ice wall. The area of effect is um, three times eight meters area, and the duration is up to 4.5 seconds. So basically, they're up for about 4.5 seconds and then they break. And the cooldown is only 10 seconds on these. And the good thing about these is you can get to other places when you use them. Now I'm not the best at using this, but let's see if I can see it makes you you can kind of go to other places if you do that you've got to be quick though I'm not that quick at using it but I'm just showing you how to get to kind of other ledges and whatnot you've got to be a lot quicker than me I can't think I, I don't think I can jump that but you can get to kind of so many other places with this like I can probably get up here if I want to let's see can I Yep. So it's very useful and it, it's it's really good for blocking people out as well, especially for doorway. If all these 
swarms of enemies are coming through this doorway. You can just use a ice wall and it'll block all of them off. It's fantastic, really. So yeah, that's pretty much ice wall. Very good for defending, stopping people, so you can get up on platforms. It's yeah, it's pretty damn good, you know. I like it. I like it a lot. I like May a lot, to be honest. But she's just. I don't know, she's just, in a way, she's quite hard to use because you've got to, like, have good aim with the icicle, you've got to make sure you put the the walls up quite a lot, and I don't know, like, I should probably use her more, really, because she is decent. But anyway, Ice Wall, that was Ice Wall, yep. So now the last thing is her ultimate, it's called Blizzard. Now, I'll show you first what it does before I explain the actual stats. Massive radius. So, it's basically a projectile when she actually casts it, but then it's like an area of effect field when you start using the ability. But it's actually like, you know, it's, it's ongoing. So the damage... Does 90, it does 97 damage over the course of of it being used to the finish of it so it, it does it literally does pretty much half the health of a 200 hp hero if they're stuck in it and they can't get out of it it has a 10 meters radius to it which is very good because it used to be smaller than that so yeah that's really good the radius is really good on blizzard the casting time is 1.5 seconds that's that's fine really there's not a problem it's not bad the duration is only five seconds but it's only five seconds but it does freeze them fully which is what which is the main thing and i mean of course it can't headshot and yeah 14 uh 1450 points which isn't that much it's not that much at all actually you can get it quite quickly if uh you're a good May player, you can easily build that up, no problem. And that's mostly May covered, but I will give try and give some tips. I don't really use May much. Now with Blizzard, you're just gonna want to throw that on like a point or on the payload or something if there's loads of enemies everywhere. It's very you know, there's not really a, a, a tactic to using it. You just want to kind of use it when there's loads of people about and your team can just wipe everyone then it's such a good ultimate and uh yeah i mean that's pretty much to it really i mean blizzard is so damn good and just remember to try and line up headshots with this icicle if you can i know it's hard if you can't then of course, you're just trying to get body shots, but do your best to get headshots. You'll just do way more damage then. It's just all bad practice, though. Even with a bad aim like mine, I still get them sometimes. And, of course, just the, the spray. The free spray, I mean, it's just simple, really. Just trying to free someone, try and finish them off. And, yeah, not a lot else to me, really. I mean... She is good to have, very good to have. See, it does literally about half of their health. But yeah, with May's positioning, you'll want to be kind of mid, kind of mid to close. Just obviously don't kill enemies on your own if there's no one else around you kind of thing, because it won't end well, but... You just want to freeze enemies, like if you're fighting people, you've got your team around you, you just want to go around, spray them, like this, freeze them as quick as you can and just pop them in the head, and just rinse repeat really, until she gets her ultimate blizzard, and then yeah, just kind of freeze everyone, it's quite simple really, I mean she is so good, but I don't know, I still think I could use her more, but at times she feels like she can be quite vulnerable though, because you have to get quite close to freeze people, that's the only thing. But yeah, guys, I will be making more Overwatch guides. So yeah, um, yeah, stick around, follow, subscribe, uh, rate, comment, all of that good stuff. And thanks for watching the video, guys. I will talk to you all soon. Take care.